फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल ऋषभ जैन फार्मा एंड इफ यू सी माई लास्ट टू वीडियोज सो लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट एच बी एस सी सिस्टम लाइक एयर कंडीशनिंग रिक्वायरमेंट इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्रीज एंड बिफोर दैट वी हैव सिस्कन वाटर रिक्वायरमेंट इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्रीज सो वाटर सिस्टम एट एज वेल एज एच बी एस सी सिस्टम सो दिस टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द यूटिलिटी विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन द लास्ट टू वीडियोज now today we are going to be discuss compressed air requirement in the pharmaceutical industries so this discussion for this discussion uh, mr subbarao with us good morning uh, uh, welcome mr subbarao thank you uh, so uh, let's have we start with the this uh, compressed air so what is the requirement of the compressed air in the pharmaceutical industry in pharmaceutical industry in tablet coating granulation material conveying system we are using compressed air uh, in very big big way okay so there is some machine you are saying like in manufacturing area uh, like coating as well as uh, fbd yes fluid bed processes okay. where granulation is coating is being done okay so other than uh, vacuum conveying systems conveying system material conveying systems we are using compressed air and generating vacuum mm-hmm. and conveying the material over okay so this compressed air like uh, we have to be take from it so can can you just how to generate the compressed air and how it's distributed so the complete process can you explain to my viewers yes compressed air is being generated by generated through compressor compressor will intake the air from the atmosphere it will compress the air and it will send to air dryer for conditioning the air air dryer will reduce the moisture content in the compressed air and it will send to distribution so distribution lines will take the compressed air from generation system to user points end user points okay so there is a compressor compressor has to be uh, take the air from the atmosphere yes then it will be uh, they have to be reduce the water content that yes. is dryer that that job will be done by okay. dryer so from the compressed air it Com- will go to dryer yes compressed air it will compress the air it will pressurize the air and send to the dryer okay then there is a dryer and dryer uh, is has to be uh, remove the moisture remove, remove the, the moisture. moisture okay so this remove the moisture is a drying system yeah like how how is work the dryer how does work so you are you are using two kinds of dryers one okay. is a refrigerant dryer and another one is desiccant dryer ha uh-huh. refrigerant dryers can take some mice or some mice some extra to of the mice room it will remove if you want to have further uh, mice removal you have to go for desiccant dryers so this both the dryer we have to be use at a time we have if you use one wire like it's not required to both it's uh-huh. based on our requirement if okay. our requirement is plus 10 degrees dew point we can go for refrigerant dryer okay if our re- dew point requirement is minus 40 we can go for desiccant dryer if you want to reduce the load on the desk and dryer we can have both refrigerant dryer and followed by desk and dryer is suggested so uh, in pharma industry like yes. like oh, what uh, people are using normally yeah we are going with the desk and dryer desk and dryer yes. before that we are installing the refrigerant dryer also to reduce the load on the desk and dryer okay so refrigerant so this we are saying refrigerant dryer, dryer followed by desk and dryer so any temperature for this refrigerant dryer no, no, there we will measure as dew point only okay it can give plus 10 degrees dew point compressed air to us okay so then refrigerant dryer so it's it's uh, like uh, refrigerate the moisture no, no, like it will cool, cool the air yeah, it will cool, cool the air. air so that moisture will be condensed in that it uh-huh. will be taken out okay okay so uh, okay the cool the air so moisture will be condensed so there will be some drainage drain system, system. Okay. it will send out the okay, okay and then after that it will go to uh, desiccant, desiccant. Yes. so desiccant adjust the moisture adjust the moisture okay and after desiccant uh, it will go to any filtration system is there in general before desiccant dryer and after desiccant dryer we used to have filters okay so any specific filter requirement for that that is 1 micron and 0.1 micron is used before desiccant dryer and after desiccant dryer so it is again based on our criteria we can go for 1 micron or 0.1 micron okay so one micron uh, before the desiccant dryer yes so one mic so after refrigerant dryer mm. it will go to the filter yes and after filter it will uh, go to the desiccant dryer yes and after the desiccant it again will be having filter one filter one filter yes. so that filter uh, before the user point 
Yes, yes. Here, why filter? No, before discant layer also to mm. safeguard the discant, discant. We are installing the filter. Okay. okay. So there should not be any contaminant spoil the discant. Discant. And uh, and like that, after discant layer also, mm. discant should not carry to the compressed layer. Okay. That's why we are going to have one more filter after discant. Layer. Okay, okay. So after discant layer, you are saying point one micron. So one micron is enough. One, why? One because micron. if you put point micron. Even the end user point again we have to go point have only. Point one only. So it's a way, you know. So end user is, end user is point two or point one. End end user we are using point two micron. Point two. Point two micron. Correct. So one micron, then desiccant dryer again one micron. Yes. Then it will go to the user point and here is the point two micron. Yes. And uh, when it will out from this uh, dryer, it may be desiccant. There is some uh, analytical like uh, how we can get this. Yes. All the moisture is removed. Any acceptance criteria? Yes, yes, yes. So discount out. You no know, temperature. I mean moisture of the compressor being monitored through dew point sensor. Dew point sensor. sensor. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. So in pharma, we are using minus forty degrees Celsius dew point. Ah. Huh. So, so the air should meet minus forty degrees dew point. Dew point. So this dew point is an online monitoring system. Online monitoring. Okay, now uh, as uh, our air, uh, this is, there are some monitoring system that is a dew point monitoring system, and this identify no no it's not reached to the acceptance criteria which is designed. Then how it it will go again? In our desiccant dryers, there will be two towers. Sir. Okay. Okay. Desiccant dryer itself having the two towers. Two towers. Okay. So one is in running mode, another one is in standby mode. Okay. Uh -huh. When the running mode. A, a discant dryer exhaust unable to remove the moisture. Mm. So at that time, dew point sensor anyhow it will detect the moisture. Okay. So that dew point sensor will switch the discant dryer tower from one to stand running to standby. Okay. Okay. So you are saying like it will be automatically go in the standby dryer. It will go to standby dryer. Okay. And then standby dryer again it will. It will be... take care of the moisture removal. Moisture removal. Okay. Okay. So this complete process, like uh, you are saying, first compression, then drying, and drying also you are saying the two part of drying, then one, uh, then filtration, final filtration. Yes. So this complete process, uh, how much cost for the industry is required? Like it's very costly, or is like compressed air is the one of the costliest utility in pharma industry. It's very costly. Not in pharma, any anywhere. Uh -huh. Compressed air is the. Very costly system. Oh, I am thinking this uh, air conditioning will be a very costly system. No. Why? Because the utilization of energy at the end point is maximum forty percent. We are losing sixty percent of energy in the compressor generator generation and distribution system. Ah, uh -huh. so sixty percent is yes. there is a complete loss. Complete loss. It's very so, very less efficiency. Very less, and we should be very cautious and precisely use the compressor in the pharma. Okay, okay. Normally, I have seen uh, some drying system also, like uh, when we are drying uh, some utensils, some um, we are drying uh, some equipment. People are using uh, this compressor here to be dry. This yes. So so it's you no, know, it's uh, not, nothing but cost. We are you know, burning the okay. currency. Uh -huh. So we should not use compressor here like for drying or yes. anything like like some dust is there yes. inside. I know there will be no dust because it's a pharmaceutical yes. industry. Is as, as alternative of this process, people are using IR dryers, infrared dryers. Correct, correct. IR to dryer. save the energy, and instead of compressed air, we can use some hand blowers. Ha, hand blowers. So that correct, no, it correct. will consume less energy, and no, it will save other compressed air. Ha, correct. You are saying so. If you want to be dry anything, why you use the compressed air? Yes. You can use some dryer. Hand dryers hand are dryers already available. Available. Hand dryers and IR dry, IR dryers also there. Product. So you are saying this is uh, only forty percent efficiency. Yes. If it is forty percent efficiency, so this compress, uh, if if user is using, not using, it has to be run. Compressor, you no, know, based on user demand. Correct. Automatically, it will start and it will stop. Yeah. But uh, because user is not using, it's still loss not of. Not using. Still, compressor will pump it in. I mean, pressurize the compressor air distribution system. Mm. There may be some leaks, Correct. and the approximately ten percent of compressor air will go into leaks. Mm. So ten percent gone. So after three hours, four hours, again it will start. It will again start. Pump, again it will stop. pump. Yes, the, the this is a repetitive system. 
So it is recommended when there is no compressor use, we can switch up the compressor, that is one thing. And we are having at only one or two places uh, requirement compressed air during holidays. Let us uh, think about holidays, uh -huh. Saturday, Sunday. Correct. Only few areas may require compressed air and other areas may not require compressed air. At that time, we can deploy small air compressors at that particular location. For example, water plant, it required compressed air to operate the pneumatic valves. Uh -huh. So for that water plant alone, we need not to run the compressor. If you run the compressor, it will consume yeah. Uh, energy due to leaks in the distribution system, Correct. which leaks uh, may not be controlled 100%. It's not possible to control leaks 100%. Mm. So if you are saying like uh, like water system, we should uh, install one small compressed uh, air system. Yes. Because when, this is big compressed air is... When, when it is switched off, the mm. small can compress, compressor can be replaced for the water plant. Yeah, because this this another one is has to be a complete manufacturing area. Every everywhere, every so area, much yes. of uh, distance has to be covered. Covered and the no, loss, no, is very loss, loss is very high. Loss is very loss is very. So it's required. This this really is uh, so people are doing like that. Yes, of course, few companies are doing, uh -huh. uh, doing that. Uh, because it it just save the energy. Yes. And any other uh, like oil, yeah, anything is there in the air. So any like. Yes, uh, in pharmaceutical industry, the air should be particulate free, oil free, and moisture free. Correct. We discuss about the moisture, moisture now. And okay. particulate, I think. Particulate air with filter filters. through filters, we can yeah, control correct, the correct. particulate. Mm. Regarding oil, most of the pharmaceutical companies are using oil free air compressors. Okay. Oil free means uh, during the compression itself is removed the oil? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. In the generation of compressor air process, oil is not being used. Okay, okay. So you are saying there is no oil in the atmosphere. No, no. Oil, that is one thing. Huh. Compressor, air compressor process, Correct. I mean, air compressor operation, mm -hmm. oil being used as a coolant for that compressor. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sometimes there will be some contamination because of we are using if, oil. If you are using oil injected compressor, there will be a chance of contamination oil through the compressed air. Then again you have to do filter up, remove the oil. Remove the oil through filter. So, so now these oil free compressors, it won't it won't carry out the oil. Yeah, yes. So really, uh, I, I really... Yes. Like, In that compressor, we have two kinds of air compressors. We used to say oil injected or oil free. Okay. So oil injected compressors, it will be injected oil through cool down the pistons mm -hmm. okay so that that oil will carry it out some oil some part of the oil will carry it out through the air here in this oil free compressor compressors oil cannot be injected and oil will not carry through the compressor air so it's really matlab, that compressed air itself having very important in the pharmaceutical industry yes. so like we already discussed for hbac system we discuss uh, water system and the this compressed air also very important so this Compressor has to be taken here from the atmosphere, then it has to be uh, that go Compress to the some it will after, compress after, the air. Yeah, after the compression, it should go for a, uh, some uh, dryer. dryer. So, refrigerator dryer, then one, one, one micron filter, then desiccant dryer, then again one micron filter, then it will be distributed to user here 0.2 micron filter, and the loss efficiency is very less around 60% losses. And 40% we and the energy consumption also is very high. So it's really very good topic today. Actually, I, I don't believe this will be a topic having very important. Yes. And I really appreciate and I really thankful uh, Mr. Rao has given continuous uh, so many things and we are increasing our knowledge related to be engineering system because as a quality system, we should not have so much of knowledge. But as a he's having very good experience in this area and. That is my privilege. Uh, we are uh, getting his knowledge, and I am trying to be put this knowledge to our viewer also. Uh, thanks, thanks, Mr. Rao, uh, for your support and giving good knowledge to our uh, viewers. And one more session: compressed air pressure will play a major role in the energy okay. consumption. Mm -hmm. So, whatever pressure we require, we need to maintain air compressor or generation that much pressure only. For example, we require compressor rate at 4 kg per cm or 4 bar pressure. Okay. You have to generate compressor rate 5 bar pressure by considering line losses. So, 
in pharma industry what like exactly six bar six bar actually it's a maximum requirement better requirement six bar six bar so for, for every increase of one bar so energy consumption will be more more so we need to maintain low pressure uh, it's suggestible it's recommendable uh, based any, on our requirement anything else requirement. you want to be say uh, like in current organization of pharma like the what they are facing and you have any suggestion for that so we have to construct a distribution line to minimize the leakages that is a one important thing okay. and we need not to run more length of the pipes we have okay. to design proper such a way we have to reduce the line length to avoid pressure losses and leaks air leaks okay. air leakages and pressure also it need to be selected based on our operations for example in our area 20% of air demands 6 bar and 80% of air demands 4 bar hmm. it is better to separate two lines okay. and replace two compressors or something hmm. or that would be suggestible correct correct because so that energy cost is very, very high very high so we have to be used to compressor yes. because at least the pre- procurement will be not so much of high but running cost is very high yes at wherever you require 4 bar if you are giving 8 bar pressure it will lead to consume more energy as well as more leakages will yeah. take more air correct because you are uh, giving more pressure so leakage will you be will more. more more so these things need to be considered yeah really thanks uh, thanks mr rao uh, to being with us thanks thanks a lot and thanks to watching this uh, video and i believe you will get good knowledge and if you have any questions so you can put your comment uh, there is a comment section in uh, our video so you can put your question in the comment section and we'll definitely will give the answer of your comments thanks thanks for watching this video thank you